Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on solving a two-step equation with a negative number in front of the unknown. So we've got an equation like this, 11 minus 3x is equal to 4, and we want to solve, that means to find the value of x. Now generally I like to make sure the x is on the side where it's positive. So if we don't want this x to be a negative term, so we don't want it to be minus 3x, we could add 3x to both sides of the equation first. And if we do that, well the left hand side we've added 3x so that just becomes 11 because the plus 3x cancels the minus 3x. If we add 3x to this side we get 4 plus 3x. And then we don't have any negative numbers to worry about at all in this particular case. So let's think what's happening to x now. Well, x has been multiplied by 3, then we added 4 to it. So we undo the last thing we did on that side of the equation. So we want to minus 4 to get rid of that plus 4. So if I minus 4 to both sides, then 11 minus 4 is 7. And if we minus 4 from this side, then we get rid of that plus 4 there, and we just get 3x. Now, x has been multiplied by 3, we want to get rid of that times by 3, so we do the opposite, we divide both sides by 3. And then 7 divided by 3, well that's just a fraction, we have 7 over 3. And don't try and give it as a decimal because it's just going to be a mess and it will be a recurring decimal. We don't like recurring decimals in general. And the 3x divided by 3 is just x. Now I actually like to do this in one step using something called the swapsy trick as I call it. And what the swapsy trick is this. Let's say you had 8 minus 6 is equal to 2. That is obviously true. What two numbers in that subtraction could you swap so it would still be true? Well, we could swap the 6 and the 2. So we could have 8 minus 2 is 6, and that's clearly also true. So in general, we can swap the thing that's being subtracted and the result. So if we apply that to 11 minus 3x equals 4, we could subtract that thing we're subtracting, the 3x, and the 4 to get 11 minus 4 is equal to 3x. And suddenly this equation is much simpler because 11 minus 4 is 7 and we get to this part of the equation quite quickly. Another thing that some people do is they just leave the minus 3x where it is and they subtract 11 from both sides to get rid of that 11. So we do it that way instead. If we subtract 11 from both sides we get minus 3x and then 4 minus 11 is minus 7. And then, well, x has been multiplied by minus 3, so we divide both sides by negative 3. And then that gets rid of the minus 3 there. And then we do minus 7 divided by minus 3. And because negative divided by negative is positive, we get 7 over 3. Now, I personally don't like this particular method. The reason is, is I prefer to not divide by a negative number. I'd rather the x be on the side where it's positive. But as long as you get the right answer, I don't really mind what method you use.